Hey guys, so today's video is what we got our kids for Christmas. This is one of my favorite videos to film every year, but it's also exhausting because it's usually the first time that I pull everything out and organize it and see what I got for everybody and I start to panic because I think one kid has more than the other and yada yada. Um, this is probably the last year that we will have the same number of gifts per kid. Um, our oldest is definitely at the point where she is going to understand cost over what is it? Quality over quantity kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. um, so if you don't know, our kids are, we have four kids. They are ages nine, seven, five, and two. almost two, which is like super sad. Don't rush it. No? <laughs> She's, don't rush it. She didn't just, oh, Eli just turned. Five, yeah. Five, five. Um, they're his kids too, believe it or not. <laughs> anyway, so um, John and I just organized everything and went through, and they did actually all get the same number of gifts kind of by accident. Mm -hmm. If you didn't watch my video last year, um, last year I mentioned that we had organized with the grandparents a big group gift um, instead of having like multiple Christmases full of multiple gifts. Um, so this year, their main present is, are they totally asleep for sure? Yeah, they're, they're asleep. <laughs> this gone. year, um, their main Christmas present are Disney passes. We live in Florida and um, we had Disney passes like four years ago. Mm -hmm. And our, our youngest son, who's five, thinks he's never been to Disney at all. Our youngest daughter, of course, hasn't. And um, he's been asking a ton. And then our older son barely remembers. He's like bringing up memories of Disney. And I'm like, no, buddy, that was the zoo. So he super like, he doesn't really remember much of it either. So it's going to be a huge surprise to all of them. I don't know how we personally feel about Disney. Um, we're doing it for our kids. Mm. That would be when we were in it previously we definitely got burnt out yeah it's really easy i think with our personalities just to get burnt out with disney because we prefer like family beach days and family walks to like disney 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 so but it'll be a, it's a great age for our kids to go so that's their main present they're gonna find out christmas afternoon all the grandparents that are, live in town are gonna be here for the big reveal and i will film that so you'll see that after christmas so that being said we basically kept each of the kids right around $100. Um, I don't even think we spent that much on the baby. And then, like I've said in years past, I much prefer to give less per kid and give more as like family gifts. So board games and um, learning toys and just things that they can all open together and share because we homeschool, so everything gets shared anyway. But their ages have really kind of started to shine through now, and I can't give as many family gifts so they have more individual gifts this year so anything you want to say before we get started <sighs> merry christmas <laughs> here we go this is what we got for our kids this year okay so i'm going to start with the books and the family gifts and then i'll move into what we got them individually so as an usborn consultant i actually did not pay anything for these books besides the shipping but i saved some hostess rewards for christmas so first things first, I got them each a um, shine a light book. So if you're not familiar, these shine a light books, you hold a light behind the pages and something shines through. Um, so I, they love these books so much. And actually in their stockings, I got them each a new book light. So they'll be super excited about that. I will share our stocking stuffers sometime next week, actually. So I got this one for Jesse. He's my seven-year-old. I got this for Annabeth. She's our 18 month old. I got this for my daughter who is nine and this for my son who just turned five. So those are their books. Um, those are the only books. That's the only book I got for the baby. She has a ton of books. I just got her a bunch of books. So, um, and I think she's going to be so distracted by the stocking stuffers that I didn't want to get her a bunch more little things to open. So then, um, I got my nine year old, these chapter books there. She loves the Ella Diaries books and they just released three new books. So she does not know that yet. So I got her these three books. I'll put a link to all of these below, by the way. And then I got these for my seven year old, the survival spying and special forces books. So 
he's gonna love those. He has every single Bear Grylls book that we make, so at this point I'm having to branch out to other um, other authors. And then my five-year-old's not reading chapter books yet, and he loves when we do Letter of the Week, so I got him this Esborn Illustrated Alphabet, which comes in this slipcover, so um, that is his. And then I also got them each an art book. Um, I got this for my daughter, The Drawing Animals. She is super into art. So this uses chalk, watercolor, tons of different media. So I got her that. And then for my boys, I got them each the same thing here. I actually thought these were going to be stocking stuffers, but I realized that I ran out of room in their stockings. So I got them each the How to Draw Dinosaurs mini book, and then I got them each the Dinosaurs magic painting book. So um, those are all kind of, they all kind of go together. I really am going to struggle when my kids, I start to separate them even more by their ages with Christmas presents because I really like to try to keep them all like, oh, you're opening your art books and then they'll open their art book and whatever. So then I got, um, Jesse, this Hey Jack series. It's like a beginning chapter book series and it came with this backpack. So that's like his main book set there. And then I got Eli, our five-year-old, this Curious Case of the Missing, <laughs> I was reading Mammoth, the Curious Case of the Missing Mammoth and the little love that comes, uh, lovey that comes along with that. And then for Isabella, I got this mermaid embroidery kit with step-by-step -step instructions and she's gonna freak out. And so I will move on now to our family gifts. So family gifts are my favorite gifts that they open um, besides the gifts they get for each other, which I will also show you that probably like the week of Christmas because I don't take them shopping for their secret sibling gifts until then or they will spill the beans. So these are all just gifts that they open together and they absolutely um, love opening them together. There's no competition or anything when it comes down to that. So I got this Connect Four Shots for them. I got Quirkle, which I know you saw in my Black Friday haul. This game looked amazing, Shadows in the Forest. It is a game that you play with a lantern, a little LED lantern, and you try to keep your little, um, little pieces behind the shadows. Um, I got this for my older two, and then I got this game for my younger two, this Lucky Ducks game. I think they're both gonna really like this. Eli loves playing with Annabeth, so I thought that would be great for them. And then I also got them this. Um, the Suspend Game by Melissa and Doug, which is like a balancing game. We play a lot of board games on New Year's Eve, so we always bust out our new board games then. I got them this Mag Form Magformers Carnival set to share. Originally, I was going to give this to my seven-year-old, but they all love Magformers, so I didn't want anybody to worry like if the pieces got mixed with our other Magformers that... That was theirs, and then I got them this, the My First Computer Coding Book with Scratch Jr. and the coding for beginners using Scratch for them to work on a little bit, maybe in school, I'm not sure. So we'll see how that goes. I don't think they really know what that is yet, but so those are our family gifts. And I am going to start with our youngest now and move up to our oldest. Okay, so for our 18, well, she's like 21 months now. Um, I got her this. This will be her first real puzzle, this 32-piece floor puzzle. She loves animals, and she loves doing like the farmer in the dell and the animal sounds. So I thought that this would be great for her. And then I got all of my kids a Play-Doh set. I know you're probably wondering what I'm planning for my older two. I did get them a Play-Doh set. You'll see in just a second. Um, so I got her this Play-Doh Shape and Learn. Is it Play-Doh Academy? No, it's not. Um, so I got her this one to learn her shapes. I also got her this um, Green Toys Wagon that you guys saw on my Prime Day haul. This I thought she would be, um, she would love putting her little baby dolls in this and pulling them around. I got this Mr. Bucket game for her. John and I are just saying we can see ourselves playing this with her all day on Christmas. She's going to love that. I also got each of my kids a logic game or puzzle, and so this was hers. It's not necessarily a logic game, but it is fine motor skills for her, so it's this Green Toys Build a Bouquet. This is Green Toys as well. It's made out of, completely made out of recycled material. Um, so I thought she's really gonna like that. And then her little main present is this Melissa and Doug Scoop and Serve Ice Cream Counter. I'll put a link up here to my Prime Day haul because most of her stuff actually came from Prime Day and um, I've just held on to it from there. So now I'm gonna move on to our five-year-old. So um, for my five-year-old, this is the Play-Doh set I got for him. It's the Play-Doh Academy Puzzle Solver set. I just feel like you're supposed to get your kids Play-Doh on 
Christmas. Like, it's just a given. You're supposed to open something Play-Doh. I don't know if, like, we've done that for them every year or not, but it just seems appropriate. Um, I also got him this Green Toys Sea Copter. I got one for my son, my other son as well. Um, this, I think they're probably just going to use it in the bathtub. Then his logic game is this, the Balance Beans game, which looked perfect for him. And then his main present is actually this, Botley the Coding Robot. Um, I, I've wanted one of my kids to want this, so I convinced him to want this. But he's going to think his main gift is this. He'll probably open this last. Price point wise, this was his main gift. But um, this is the biggest gift and also the one he wanted. He wanted a big transformer. So I got him this um, Rescue Bot and then this little set of flip racers that go along with it. So that is what we got for him. Now my son, who just turned seven, um, he will enjoy playing with this with my five-year-old son. So we got him this seaplane again for the bathtub probably. Um, his main gift is supposed to arrive on Monday, which I believe is the day that I'm posting this video. So head over to my Instagram if you want to see. We got him a skateboard from CCS and the the um, yeah, the delivery is just taking a really long time, but he is going to love it. My husband's really stoked about it. So um, we're excited to be getting that for him. Plus, of course, all of the pads and gear that goes along with that. I think this is the start to a um, a new journey with him. I mentioned in my Black Friday video that my husband was on a skate team for years and years, and so um, he actually like traveled the country with his team and is really excited for our son to be into that now. We have a really great community as far as skateboarding goes. Um, the community all just rallied around the youth in our community and donated to build them a skate park so they don't have to keep traveling out of town. So it's great. Um, we live in an awesome little beach town. So I got him this Tech Deck starter set. Um, here's his. This is Do Vinci. So see, now they make Play-Doh for big kids. Um, so this is like a Play-Doh art set which looked really cool. Um, this is his logic game, this Clue Master logic game. I'm not sure, this might be a little too, a little above him, but we are going to try to play, play it with him. And then I got him this, the Snap Circuits Junior. Um, and we'll see how he does with this. And um, if he enjoys it, then we will definitely um, start investing in the bigger sets of it, but I wanted to get him the starter set just to see how he enjoyed it, so. That is what I got for him, plus the skateboard, of course, which is his main And then my gift. daughter's pile actually looks so, so small in comparison to, like, the boy's pile. But, um, she, hers, her gift was just small, um, but the same cost. So I got her this Cat Crimes. This is her logic game. This looked super cool. Who's to blame logic game? So I'm actually really excited for her to get that. She's asking for makeup, which is all just for fun and because of dance and things. I'm not sure if we're going to slip any in her stocking. John's okay with it, you know, with it just being for dance. I'm actually not sure if I'm okay with it. Um, but I, So I did grab these um, when they were on sale. I think they were a Cyber Monday deal. I got her this metallic hair chalk, which is fun. She has had hair chalk for a while that we bring out whenever she has a girlfriend over. So that one looked easier for her to apply herself. And then I got her these Sketch and Sparkle tattoo pens. So these will be wrapped up together. Um, I got her this Do Vinci set. She's actually going to love this. She's the one who told me that these existed. Um, and then I got her <laughs> Scruffle Loves. Um, we don't usually get this many toys, but this looked, this was actually one of the hot toys, like one of the little plasticky things that I could get behind because they actually looked super cute. And then she got this Calico Critters nursery set. It's super sad. This is the first year we didn't get her anything American Girl, but she got a ton of American Girl stuff on her birthday, and we haven't even opened every single thing up yet. Um, we've been taking her to the store for her birthday for the last couple of years and also getting a ton at Christmas. So she... Um, we might take her, you know, before Luciana is gone to get her a couple of Luciana accessories, but that would be with her own spending money that she gets from Christmas. I'm just, she's really into Calico Critters as well, and we already had her main gift taken care of, and she doesn't need another doll. She has, 
I think she has five American Girl dolls now, so um, she didn't need another one this year, which opened her budget up for a little bit more this year. So she got this um, Elwood's Elephant Twins, and she really wanted the baby nursery for Calico Critters. I wanted to get her the school, the Calico Critters school, which actually cost a little bit more, but she, um, every time I suggested it, she came back to the nursery. So she has a couple of the Calico Critter houses. Um, so I guess this will go inside of one of those houses. And then her little main gift is this, the Insta Instax, Instax, the basically Polaroid camera. So I got her this ice blue one with this cute flamingo carrying case and a ton of film because I have a feeling she's gonna go through tons of it. She loves to scrapbook and journal, so I thought this would be perfect for her. And one of her friends, one of her friend's parents has one of these and they love um, to play with it. She talks about it quite a bit. So that is her main gift. So that is what we got our kids for Christmas. And John, do you have any, I always ask them to leave a comment below so we can interact a little bit. So what questions do you have? Sure. <laughs> Y'all, and you won't let me say y'all. <laughs> oh I say y'all on here all the time. You, you told me not to say y'all. The though. way you said it was funny a minute ago. Okay, you guys, let us know what you got your kids for Christmas in the comments below. Y'all, let us know what you got all y'all's kids for Christmas in the uh, comments right. below. And we'll uh, we'll chat later. Um, I might. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk. We'll see you later, guys. This is what we used to do back in the day. Boom.